Hello and welcome. To solve this logarithmic equation, let us start by simplifying these two log terms. Now you know that the square root of x can be written as x to the power half. So this term can be written as 6 times log to base 2 of x to the power half. Now what we are going to do here is that we will change the base of this logarithm from base x to base 2 to match this term. So when we apply the change of base formula for log readings, this term becomes 6 times log to base 2. 2 is the new base of 2 divided by log to base 2 of the old base x. And of course, this is still equal to 7. Now here we will apply the power rule of log readings. That is the rule that says that we can bring down this power to the front of this log term to become a multiplier. When we do that, we have half times six times log to base two of x. And of course, log to base two of two is equal to one. So here we have six times one divided by log to base two of x. And this is equal to seven. Now, since we have log to base 2 of x here and log to base 2 of x here, let us do a substitution. So let log to base 2 of x be equal to the letter d. Now, this equation becomes, of course, 2 into itself is 1 and into 6 is 3. We have 3 times d minus 6 over d is equal to 7. And to get rid of this fraction, let us multiply through this equation by d. 3d times d is 3d squared. Minus 6 over d times d. Of course, this is going to cancel this, leaving us with minus 6. 7 times d is 7d. Rearranging this equation, we have 3d squared minus 7d minus d is equal to zero. Now we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. And since the coefficient of d squared is not one, let us use the table method. The factors of 3d squared are d and 3d. And the factors of minus six are minus three and plus two. D times plus 2 is going to give us 2d. And 3d times minus 3 is going to give us minus 9d. And minus 9d plus 2d is going to give us minus 7d. So we have that the factors of this quadratic equation are d minus 3 and 3d plus 2. And this is equal to zero. Of course, we know that this statement simply means that either d minus 3 is equal to zero or 3d plus 2 is equal to zero. From here, when we add 3 to both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to 3. From here, when we subtract 2 from both sides of this equation, we have that 3d is equal to minus 2. And when we divide both sides of this equation by 3, we have that d is equal to minus 2 over 3. So now we have found two values of d. We have that d is equal to 3 and d is equal to minus 2 over 3. And of course, this simply means that either log to base 2 of x is equal to 3 or log to base 2 of x is equal to minus 2 over 3. Now, when we have a statement such as these two, of course, you know that this simply means that 2 to the power 3 is equal to x. And in this case, 2 to the power minus 2 over 3 is equal to x. So here we have that x is equal to 2 to the power 3. And of course, 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. While here we have that x is equal to 2 to the power minus 2 over 3. You can rewrite this as 
1 over the cube root of 2 squared. Now, to check our answer, let us substitute these two values of x into the original equation to make sure that the equation is satisfied. When x is equal to 2 to the power minus 2 over 3, this equation becomes 6 times log to this 2 of 2 to the power minus 2 over 3 to the power half because of this square root minus 6 times log to base 2 to the power minus 2 over 3 of 2. Of course, you know that in situations like this, to get rid of this bracket, all we have to do is to multiply the two powers. So here we have 6 times log to base 2 of 2 to the power 2 times 1 is 2. And 3 times 2 is 6 minus. Now look at this. And remember that log to base a to the power n of b is equal to 1 over n. That is the reciprocal of the power times log to base a of b. So that means that log to base 2 to the power minus 2 over 3 of 2 is going to give us minus the reciprocal of 2 over 3 is 3 over 2. So here we have 3 over 2. Of course, we still have 6. And then we have log to base 2 of 2. Now here, let us apply the power rule. We are going to bring down this exponent to join this. When we do that, we have minus 2 over 6 multiplied by 6 times log to base 2 of 2. And here we have minus minus is plus. So this is plus 3 over 2 times 6 times log to base 2 of 2. Of course, we know that log to base 2 of 2 is equal to 1. Log to base 2 of 2 is equal to 1. So this reduces to this will cancel that to give us minus 2 times 1 plus this is going to cancel that to give us 3. 3 times 3 is 9 times 1. And of course, 9 minus 2 is equal to 7, which is exactly what we have on the right hand side. So this value of x satisfies the original equation. Now, when x is equal to 2 to the power 3, that is 8, the left-hand side of this equation becomes 6 times log to base 2 of 8 to the power half. Half, because of the square root, minus 6 times log to base 8 of 2. Of course, we know that 8 is the same as 2 to the power 3. So here we have 6 times log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 to the power half minus 6 times log to base 8. 2 is 8 to the power 1 over 3. So here we have 8 to the power 1 over 3. Multiplying these two powers, we have 6 times log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 over 2 minus 6 times log to base 8 of 8 to the power 1 over 3. Now let us remember that log to base a of a to power b is equal to b. So log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 over 2 is equal to 3 over 2. So here we have 6 times 3 over 2. And log to base 8 of 8 to the power 1 over 3 is equal to 1 over 3. So here we have 6 times 1 over 3. This into this is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. This into this is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. Once more, 
the left hand side of the equation is equal to the right hand side of the equation so this value also satisfies the original equation so we have that the two values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation are x equal to 2 to the power minus 2 over 3 and x equal to 2 to the power 3. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.